soon as Ness gets off screen. And look at the good boy just looking at us. Oh, what he a has fantastic no kid. pupils. <laughs> no, 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 no. His eyes are all his pupils. He just doesn't have a cornea. So he's just high out of his mind? <laughs> oh, but you know, that the entirety of Earthbound is actually just Ness being extremely high on he's, acid. That, that's yeah. <laughs> A different Guys, outtake. Psychokinetic powers have been historically associated with LSD. It's it's Wait, not even so a joke. Are you implying that his eyes are actually like behind his cap and his hair is actually like the circles around his eyes? What? I mean, he see. He, he he's like, he's oh, you know what you're saying. The eyelids have grown over his cornea. No, Don't his, say his that. His pupils Don't are so dilated that. they've taken up his entire eyeball. I said, currently Ness is seeing into the future because uh is just rocking this entire first stock against Mouse Rat, covering every option, putting on that pressure. Now we're at that point where you get to go, bye! Yeehaw, God bless. Uh, Mouse got overextended once, gonna get back to the of shield. Um, try to catch like a jump or a stop. Oh, of shield does, interesting, interesting commitment there. Um, tries to go for an early stock kill, uh, preserving his jump, really, really smart, able to get the double PK Thunder and still get that counter stage successfully. Yeah, you know, uh, that was actually uh, semi assisted by Maltrap going down there to stop the PK Thunder. I like the idea to try and trade with the second one, but uh, Up Air ended up helping out. Uh, and now, uh, <laughs> my god, that's such a <laughs> confusing tag to say. Helping out Ness so uh... you can. Uh, <laughs> we complain about this every longer. week. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's intentionally done to mess with people. Walk. You know, he actually, I stalls off stage with the magnet, which would have also like kind of conditioned Mouse Guard not to throw out like a thunder jolt. I um, agree. Just sort of like, allowed him to get back onto stage. Yeah, you do that like once or twice throughout a set, and all of a sudden you have to look at that like, wait, do I go out there and stop it? Because it's mm -hmm. gonna be one time where you try, and then all of a sudden, uh, just jumps in with a short hop fair, and now you take damage for trying to go get. It just makes you second guess yourself. Absolutely. Um, uh, unfortunately, committing to the up smash rather than the down smash. Um, so the up smash would have caught like Pikachu going up and over it, but there was no way at that percent up smash would have killed. Yeah, and now you see Mouse Rat finding exactly what Mouse Rat needed to. All you got to do is find that one angled spot, keep hitting P uh, the Ness over and over and over again, and you can never get that PK Thunder too off. Yep, goes for the forward throw rather than sailing spec. They're really, really smart. Now, if he doesn't have enough time to, Yo Yo um, Mouse Guard is able to get back onto stage successfully. And now you got to be careful too because you're at a point where you want to go get damage. Yeah, I see Mouse Rat had to slow down. You want to get damage, but you're at you're always at risk of having yeah. to worry about. Uh, a near out of shield or something yeah. such, uh, just punishing really hard you know i feel like uh in like a desperation to always get a back to go kill keeps forcing himself into the corner and mouse rat is not like letting that slip like he's definitely making the most out of it but the drop down back is able to take the second stock and uh only at 57 percent there we go, and uh, you know, being behind a full stock, the big thing right now is how well can you mitigate this and keep that down. And Mouse Rat starting to play a, a little bit more on an option coverage base, just kind of throw out some moves to keep uh, in the corner. It oh, actually had the right call. You gonna be able to make it block? Yes, no, it. the no. back here is gonna do it. I Oh, actually, no. dug so deep, waiting, uh, hoping to catch uh, Ness's recovery, and us actually gonna somehow make it back on the stage. Great job. Yeah, uh, Mouse got maybe committed a little bit too deep, maybe overestimated the distance on his double jump, thinking he'd be able to connect the four leaders. But regardless, at 125%, he's looking through that sweet spot F smash, is able to find it. And now this is effectively an even game. There we go. This is huge. If Mouse Rat can somehow just find one, like, just a, a couple good strings to get this back to even. You always have that one good factor when you're at last stock in this matchup is that you get to give Ness a lot easier than Ness can give you. So mm -hmm. let's see if Mouse Rat can maybe do exactly that. I was just trying to find that that same spark that uh, he had at the beginning of the match. Yeah. All right, now he's controlling the ledge really, really patiently. He backed off just in case Mouse Gut would decide to go back onto stage a little, maybe if he was afraid of the yo-yo. But Mouse Gut, I feel like he's really, really comfortable in the Nest matchup. He knows what to look out for really often, but no. Yeah, there's no way. There we go, see what uh, does. Trying to almost catch with the Osmash, just really gonna miss. But, and we're at that point exactly where you want to go in and one of those trades, it's so strong, especially that back air. Uh, pretty much fresh too. There wasn't a single time that I think I saw uh, use that beforehand. And uh, bringing uh, some, uh, getting that W after what was a really good beginning of the lead, but Mouse Rat started, brought it back. 
I feel like Pikachu in the early doesn't have anything really quick and punchy. Everything that he does in the early is a commitment to some extent. So when you have like a move that's as snappy as Ness's neutral or Ness's back heel in that case, right? Um, you know, Ness is inherently going to have an advantage at aerial airing Pikachu, especially because they're far more disjointed than Pikachu's multi hits. Yeah, let's see where we go on the next stage here. I don't think that that stage is necessarily bad for both. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if probably PS2 gets banned because I don't think that uh, wants to give Mouse Rat that type of room to work with. That's just my guess. Um, otherwise, uh, possibly uh, uh, Smash uh, Smashville would still be just fine for both ca uh, characters too. I think a little bit better for Pikachu in regards of being able to put Thunder Jolt on center stage, <laughs> and, on that center platform, and maybe bait out some side magnets. We'll see. Yep. Um, I think with a stage like Battlefield, that might not be necessarily the best pick for on on Pikachu's part, just because <laughs> I feel like. Mouse got like what he does really, really well is he catches landings really well. Battlefield mm -hmm. gives Ness an ability to sort of camp, uh, I think Pikachu out. Yes, and it also just sort of prevents Mouse got from getting like the nail loops that he might be looking for, some of the juggles, um, and gives like Ness so many different means of escaping. So going into game two, I'm not sure what stage they pick. We're about to find out right now. Let's see if the guesses were correct, and the verdict says. That we are lying. We're going to Kalos instead. Yeah, flat stage. I totally agree on Mouse Guts part. You know, he would be able to catch Ness's landing so much more, but immediately landing the PK fire into another. Oh, goodness. Yeah, and covering the roll as well. That up smash, uh, up starting the game off exactly how he did in the last one, just completely taking over the lead, yeah. putting on big damage at the start, and now Mouse Rat is forced to have to approach. Mm -hmm. Mouse Rat getting a little bit too greedy with catching us landing, decides to go for the F smash, which unfortunately has too much startup, and the up air having as little landing lag as it does, um, will just you know go with right through that. Yeah, and then, oh, okay, oh, all right, there you go. The, using the Thunder Jolt to fade back, and also after the explosion, push off uh, from the ledge so the ledge trap ends. That was a really smart call from Mouse Rat in a very awkward position. Yeah, he tried to set up a jab lock thinking that I would be missing a tech there. Really smart for him to use the double jump cancel magnet in that scenario. And on a stage like Kalos, honestly, this goes for both players. You can make your recovery so ambiguous. Okay. You know what? Every time I see that, it kind of reminds me, uh, I always used to say in Smash 4, never neutral get up against Mars, you will die. Uh, in this game, <laughs> and they Pikachu, when you neutral get up, you're pretty much asking for death. Uh, but it, it's just it, it's just so difficult to deal with because regardless, that forward smash lingers for so long. And Do Mouse you Rat, really think the Pikachu that has been practicing not to, practicing to connect the sweet spot F smash, the most reliable way to get a kill at ledge, won't react to your neutral get up? Mm -hmm. Like... You know, that's, that's just like a little little bit iffy. And right yeah, lingers for so long, too. Like, you, you, ha you have to respect that. But also, you, you see how um, Mouse Rat's able to not only do that, but co like cause fear afterwards by going for the short hop back here, enforcing that neutral get up uh, later on. So the conditioning is very much on point. Let's see if Ugg uh, can find uh, a straight hitbox somewhere to get a kill near the side. But luckily for, Cal uh, for Mouse Rat, Kalos is going to give a little bit more survivability. <laughs> Something I've noticed from Mouse Guard is that every single time he's full hopping, he's either landing aggressively or landing with a Thunder Jolt. And that in of itself kind of discourages from uh committing to uh, those like grounded magnets. Mm -hmm. Because if Mouse Guard opts for the falling aerial, all uh, will explode. Exactly. Yeah, you, you, it, it's one of those things where if you can start getting uh, your opponent to second guess one of their best approach tools, uh, you, you're already in a fantastic position. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is definitely Mouse Rat's stock to take. Really, really good payback from uh, um, I know he's just struggling to get back onto stage. Really, really smart to air dodge onto the platform because, you know, Ness being so floaty and how big his double jump is, he has to land as soon as possible. I, I, yeah, you always have to respect that. And Mouse Rat understood that full, uh, all the way through. You can't just go challenge Ness after they ground balance themselves. You'll get caught by a peak at Thunder 2 or just take unnecessary damage. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I might as well just reset neutral because that's better than losing my stock or the losing stage. Mm -hmm. I just might as well just position myself, you know, fight the next battle. And the up throw is finally going to be able to take it. Mouse yeah, the, only at 85%. Yeah, we're still going to talk about the kill throws from before, but at the same token, when you're uh, when you're uh, at that type of percent there, you have to try and go for something like PK Fire, and you're just getting clanked out by Thunder Jolt, so you want to go in, and you just get caught by the up throw. So Mouse Rat looking... Looking much better here in game number two. Looks to possibly try to even it up. 
And at low percents, it's actually much less intuitive to, for uh, to commit to the magnets because he really doesn't have that much incentive to absorb it. Mm -hmm. um, and if Mouse God is able to successfully bait that out, he could get so many early percent strings. Look how active that neutral A was, still being able to stuff out the, uh, the quick attack. Yeah, and also just that that's another thing right there you were pointing out earlier with Ness. Ooh. There we go, the backers finally get to catch Mouse Rat uh, trying to go towards the corner. Uh, but going for those yo-yos at the ledge on this stage isn't as easy because you have to worry about the fact that Thunder Jolt is going to climb the wall and stop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like something to constantly be thinking about. But if that's the case, like, uh, could go for something a little bit risky. He could try to run off stage and go for the forward, something like along those lines. But look at all this damage Mouse Rat is putting on. Yeah, and Mouse Rat, oh, trying to look for the double dare, but the PK Thunder is going to come through just in time to stop. Here's big, oh, if that third PK Fighter would have connected, that would have been so much damage. would have brought this right back to even. Mm -hmm. Really, really good directional area dodge. That was so, so close to being under the ledge. Uh, Might have been able to drift to his death. His facing was impeccable, though. Yeah, essentially having a third jump and going to get by that uh, that thunder attempt. Actually giving up stage positioning now and getting caught. But still, 57% to 117. All just looking for that one opening, possibly get a stage position. Oh, okay, dash attack just almost taking it out. And now he is stalling off stage using his PK flash. <gasps> <Mouse to gasps> What just happened? I that is one of the ballsiest plays I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie. Just intentionally flying out there with Skull Bash uh, to try and throw off a, because when you're uh, at that point, you're just kind of you're just going through the motions to stall and then wait. And then all of a sudden, your timing's completely thrown off because he actually approached. Uh, but also very risky. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Now Smash is going to take it out. That, again, that, that was one of the riskiest things I've ever seen. You could get back aired from Ness right there, just die, and be it down to neutral. Ness, Ness could breathe on you, and you and you would die at that uh, position. That was, that was, you know what? I I, I approve and I respect it. because I, I approve it, and I respect it. It didn't work. No, like, no, it like, didn't, it didn't it work, work. But yeah, all. look at this replay. It, it was almost right on cue. Like, Oh, oh, actually, he ended up connecting with the back air, but it sent to the left. So actually, that was the correct play. It oh. just it, it just sent to the left. So yeah, ah, that's unfortunate. He'd, he'd have to he'd have to go for forward. Does, in doesn't that case. doesn't Pikachu's back air in this game always send uh, the same direction? Now it doesn't. It, it yeah. used to be outward always, or am I wrong about that? Yeah, but I I wanted to say it's the same direction, uh, but I, I don't remember a hundred percent. So the, the just. Oh my god. Always sends, sends yeah, him yeah, yeah. so it always him sends him behind him. Yeah, yeah. So he just puts it he he how would he be able to do that? Yeah, he can't back air then, because then uh it would never send into the blast zone since he was facing the blast zone. Yeah, he would I mean, have had to assume, do forward air or nair, yeah. Yeah, I wanna assume his intent was either to do nair or up and he just held back too quickly. Possibly, just to make sure that you get back in towards the stage. He was like flying fifty miles per hour into the blast zone. <laughs> yeah. Again, that was one of the one of the ballsiest plays I have seen quite some time, uh, and I approve of it. These are ultimate deep gen hours right now, and I am here for it. So let's see what the stage swap is going to be. I, I mean, that stage was like, was extremely good yeah. for Mouse Rat. So I mean, honestly, Mouse Rat, he's probably going to be banning triplets. He's probably going to be banning, you know, like Battlefield Yoshi's or something along those lines. Or Battlefield Smashville. I know Pikachu's hate going to Smashville against Ness, um, and then. And then uh, is just going to be trying to take Mouse Rat to either Town and City Kalos or FD. Um, so I just want to quote Ah, uh, who says, Holy crap, why'd you do that? Laughing my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Mouse Rat did not answer. Yeah, Mouse Rat focused. He and this. Mouse, Mouse Rat is, is here for the W and not trying to talk about that. Don't wait till later. Let that stick in your brain. Wait, uh, that, bro, if he would have got it, he would have looked like a goddamn genius. I, I, that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got no words on it. My <laughs> tiny mouse was... brain is larger than the boy genius over here. <laughs> like, oh my god. Double up to so much damage. 30, 31% keeping a uh, trapped in the corner. Really nice way to double jump out, knowing that Pikachu couldn't possibly get there from a full hop. Yeah, and here we go once again, just putting out the hitboxes on retreat. Just try to make sure that uh doesn't have a free approach. And, you know, after, like, the first two games, you saw uh just kind of run away with the stock percent. Obviously, we're still in first stock here. But just, like, the difference of, like, the the, the way that Mouse Rat's playing on defense is really showing here. 
uh, almost connecting that full grid, but alas, he was just a little bit too far back and a little bit too low. He had the right idea, though. You can't be landing on Pikachu's shield like that. That's really, really dangerous. Mascot's just capitalizing off of this so much. Here we go. And once again, like you pointed out before, too, the, here we go. Back air that time is going to set the right direction. That's going to be the first stock. Uh, Mouse Rat just consistently catching those landings with that forward smash. Uh, it, it's, that's not only like stress interesting, but super tilting. Mm -hmm. You know, without a doubt, I feel like Mouse Rat is much more comfortable using P Jolt in this matchup. I feel like he's like successfully been punishing all of us commitments to Magnet. Um, but kind of quick attack right into the up smash. You know what's crazy? I just finished w reading Web say Mouse Rat has great angles, and I was about to agree with that, and then decided to land right into Yo Yo. So one mistake uh, every once in a while, but it, it is what it is. Good drop down actually to avoid that down smash follow up. So, so dangerous. I really like that angle to be able to land on top of the platform. That was so safe. Mouse Rat had no choice but to respect that. That, that was that was fantastic. Yeah, you know, it, just not not moving early enough because that would have covered so much and oh, would have had a great spot. Good damage on board. But oh, it's still keeping this very even. I like the way I was trying to look for like those drop down down airs. Just try and cover the quick attack. Maybe uh, get a, not necessarily just the spike, but just put the fear in the approach. Yep. Okay, no, like, uh, cannot land a hit. He's struggling to initiate. He keeps trying to catch Mouse Rat on these whiffs, but Mouse Rat seems to be maneuvering himself so brilliantly around up. Uh, I better lose to stock next time he does that. Like, I've, I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I kind of agree. But you know what? It's, uh, it's one of those things. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And at this point, Mouse Rat really hasn't made a pay for it yet. So... Yeah, let's see. He would, he would, yeah, next time, next time, I was gonna do that. Um, I can't help but think that Mouse Cat's gonna have like the right idea of what to do. Yeah, Ma I, Mouse Rat consistently just going back to that ledge of Jolt, uh, Thunder Jolt confirming into dash attack. All right, so all right, look here. Last time you did that, Mouse Rat went a full speed ahead right at you. So <laughs> Mouse Rat that time not moving. Oh, but the oh, the, the way that the Pikachu hitbox? extends his his head into the up smash got hit by the returning hitbox of the yo yo. What a steal! Unfortunately, Iron Head was not effective in that situation. And right now, you got back throw. It's gonna get the positioning. Is he that time in uh, in a comfortable enough spot to go for side magnet without worrying about the down air because Mouse Rat was still committed to an option? Mm -hmm. Nice use of the uh, Pika Thunder to escape, but unfortunately, because he knocked himself up slightly instead of just sliding across the ground, he was mm -hmm. stuck in a little bit of landing lag. Also, I'm not going to let the fact that you went for the Pokemon joke go unnoticed. That was really, really, uh, no, you're that welcome. was really, yeah, that was really appreciated. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm a Pokemon fanatic. I will build everybody in here a team if they want it. I love Pokemon. But right now, we're watching a current Pokemon who is extremely busted in this game, trying to find their way to victory, uh, but, uh, maybe bring this to two to one. But all it has something to say about that, almost finding the uh, the drop down grab that could have led mm -hmm. to a good stage position. Both of these are just, I mean, it's been so difficult to follow, like the pace of this. They've been swinging at each other so often. Uh, Forced to back himself out into the corner, but a nice way of getting back onto center stage with the double jump cancel PK fire. Uh, just mixing his movements so well right now. He's making sure that he's not getting hit. Tries to get the drag down forward, but at such a low percent, he does not have enough fr enough frames of advantage. Yeah, you saw I was looking for a spot dodge right there, trying to go for that down air, leads to some decent damage. Mouse Rat reading the jump, now in a very good spot. In <laughs> retreating back to the stage, almost catching the uh, the air dodge with the back air, but that's and not going to get it. Mm -hmm. uh, getting a little bit too hasty with his neutral getup. Like, he really, really wants that yo-yo, forgetting that Pikachu is able to aggressively stall with the Thunderbolt. Right now, he is off the stage. I don't... Yeah, and that's his double jump. And oh. there it is. As soon as that double jump was ripped, perfectly placed angle. Make sure that you get that down uh, that down smash. This gives you down air. And that's going to be a 2-1 lead currently to Mouse Rat going through, yeah. again, what is one of the, the, the weirdest things in the world, an actual gauntlet of bad matchups for Pikachu. Um, I will say, though, I definitely disagree with Uz's choice to go back to town and city. I think the three stages that Pikachu definitely wants to be going, especially against Ness, are FD, Kalos, and town and city. You know, these are the three flat stages. These are the stages that Pikachu does a really great job of catching landings on, really does a great job of just, you know, getting tech chases on. Um, and I think this type of stage that Uz goes to next um, will have a huge, huge impact. Yeah, give me one second. I'm just responding to my boss from work. 
<laughs> Sorry. It's a, I don't know why the message at me at 11 o'clock at night. Hey, I'll I'll get them in a sleep. Basically. <laughs> Telling me you're talking about the funny video game. They'll know what to do. The funny video games with the, the Pikas and the kids on acid. Uh, yeah. So let's see. The kid on acid's a really good boy, by the way. You know, he, he's a good lad. He's trying his best. Did you know that Ness is pretty cool? I don't, I don't know if you guys knew that. I'm I, just going to remind you guys over and over until you... Tara, I've that. said this to be, people before. Uh, it is not a good thing to lie to people. It's a very bad habit. So I, I would definitely... Uh, I would definitely, as somebody offering advice, let you know to tell people the truth. Uh, Ness is a good kid. Is he's having a good time. People? Look at Look him. The he's here to save out? the world. He's here to press buttons calculated. I, I, I think Dara, calculated. I think Dara calculated. timeout is, uh, is, is in order no, here. No, please. Okay, please. Ajax Not is, again. Uh, I can't go back. Ajax I can't. Calculated. Yeah, I all right, there we go. Do we have to go back to the conversation where I said that he just does freeform jazz dancing? None of that is calculated, all right? This is abuse. This is abuse. I just hope you know that. He holds the... For like, the, about, for like an almost, <laughs> I think, a year or two whole years, me and Sage were like always... We would just randomly say like F Ness and then high five. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that, I Helper? I Sage so much, man. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and we would go from across the room to get that high five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's here's that smash real quick. We were uh, kind of pointing at maybe a little earlier. I know you were saying, uh, Dara, from your perspective, that th this definitely seems like something that Pikachu wouldn't want to go to uh, against Ness. You know, Smashville definitely seems like a much, much better stage pick for uh, him. Really, he's able to keep it really nice and close, able to stay in advantage for longer. Um, but Mouse Rat starting to apply a lot of pressure. I would like to see him go for more grabs because I feel like throughout the set, he has conditioned us uh, to stay in shield at like close to mid range. Agreed. And I think that we're going to possibly start seeing oh, that oh, now oh, here in game yeah. four. <laughs> exactly. Get, right in game four, that's when you want to start pulling these types of things out, especially when you're up two to one. Because that's the type of moments that'll make somebody who's down behind in games get really stressed out. Oh, here we go. What's the option? Just get to throw out the Thunder Jolt. Not going to get to Clank. All right. Pull. Oh my God. You still neutral. Got him. Uh, so, so forward smash not going to hit there, but us able to get by what was a really uncomfortable spot in that left side of stage. Mm -hmm. Right now, I love the use of the, oh my god, the PK Thunder into the back back here as a way, as a means to get back onto stage and steal the stock. That was brilliant. Love the fact that Mouse God goes through the backfield here, knowing that uh, if he went through like the usual up throw, Ness could potentially magnet the Thunderbolt. And even the sour spot of F Smash being able to kill. And the swiftness to do that too, because Ah uh, definitely had a great spot, was going for ledge traps, keeping the pressure on. And then as soon as Mouse Rat got on stage with that quick attack throughout that F Smash, that was a, a very well placed <laughs> angle uh, by Mouse Rat there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That was such an amazing bait. He just jumped onto the platform and ran away. He waited for other press button, he waited for Ud to overcommit, mm -hmm. and now he's blowing him up for it. And almost catching that fair drag down once again too on that air dodge. So definitely catching on to Ness's essential third jump that he has going for him. Mm -hmm. And see, like, it looks like us trying to look for a fall down drag down up air or maybe a, a side magnet, but Mouse Rat, it just keeps stuffing him up before he gets a chance. Yeah, but finally able to get a little bit of stage control for himself with the back throw um, and getting a double back here. So much good damage, but unfortunately he's going to hastily air dodge right onto the stage, allowing Mouse Rat to perpetuate his edge guard. Here we go. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Remember what happens when you say you, you hate it here. I, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> you get a pass because it's mid match. All right. You know what? I'll wait for it again. That time actually didn't uh, was it as bad because uh, Mouse Rat went digging deep early. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be a hard punish right there. Going for the up smash. Dash is gonna take it. He went through dash attack rather than an F smash. I feel like Mouse Rat could have potentially F smash. I did like that he didn't go through the risk though, just in case he did get hit by the returning hit of it. Um, tries yeah. to gimp the air dodge back on, but unfortunately uh, able to come back in between the hits of the jab. Yeah, gonna go coast to coast that time. Get sent to the right. Uh, yeah, I like that idea there. Don't commit to that down there just in case you happen to clink a PK Thunder 2 and you get uh, an untackable. Now you're all of a sudden behind in a stop. Yeah. Ooh, so, so scary. But finally, the dash attack. Able to take it. Mouse who got really nice percentage. Um, yeah, this definitely looks like his game is set to take. Yeah, and that's one of those spots there, too, where I was definitely looking for a, a way to get damage. But when you commit at 69% to an up smash, you put yourself in that laggy window. And uh, now us looking uh, to, to get the lead back. 
right now in center stage, I mean, center stage fighting isn't as bad. Their neutral exchanges haven't been too terrible. But again, these commitments to the up smash, uh, I, I think Mouse Rat just kind of gotten a, a feed on when uh wants to go for him. Yeah, but I feel like even when uh is going through the up smashes, the issue is that the up smash will pop them up and does not send as drastic of an angle as down smash does. Up smash gives them another chance to recover unless they're at a drastically high percent, like 130 plus. So I feel mm -hmm. like uh is like, it's a bit of like a leak, right? So instead of committing to like down smash, which could indefinitely kill, uh, he's going through these up smashes for option coverage. Yeah, it, that's the one of those things that as the match progresses, it's what you, like, you kind of give it away. Oh, that was almost really good uh, movement right there to get the air dodge behind Mouse Rat. Try and give a bait of maybe an option. Oh, no, that's going to be a double air dodge. But it actually gets pushed away. I don't know if that was the hitbox or, or the body of Pikachu that maybe shifted this, uh, to the side or just not holding in. Either way, that's going to end up leading to, this, uh, to the game and Mouse Rat's going to end up taking it.